Today, we're gonna to test the TRX4M with a little bit of upgrades in it, and I wanna show you the differences in rolling resistance between ball bearings and bushings. In a previous video that you may have seen, we replaced the stock transmission with an aftermarket one from Traxxas, and it included ball bearings in it. And on that, I installed our 87 turn 180 motor that is going to be released soon. What I didn't bargain for was the ball bearing is causing a large change in rolling resistance for the rig. I was trying to see what our drag brake difference was between the stock motor and the aftermarket motor, and it really put a wrench in it. So today I wanted to show you just how extreme of a difference that there is between having just ball bearings in the transmission and the bushings that come in the stock transmission. So we've got our slant board, it's set back up to 45 degrees, and I'm just gonna show you without even plugging in the rigs. We'll do it forwards, we'll do it backwards, and we will see how well these things roll. So the one with the silver motor, this is going to be our aftermarket with the ball bearings in the transmission. And then our stock one has the stock motor with this little silver sticker still on there. So I figured out that the easiest way for us to do this is for me to just tap these with my hand instead of trying to like, you know, <laughs> trigger them both at the same time. So I'm just gonna do a little one, two, three, and then boop, they start to roll. And you see how much faster the rig with the silver motor and the ball bearings. Let's get a little bit more space here so we don't shove things off. And they'll go a little bit faster with a, a a body on but it's easier to tell which one is which without the bodies so we'll do that once more for you so you can try to see there we go and boop i i didn't push this one harder but let's swap the places there we go just in case there we go you can see once more, just for testing, just for good testing, you can see that the one with the silver motor just goes faster. It rolls so much faster, even with the other one getting a head start. And that is the, that's just the difference between the ball bearings in there. So you can tell the speed difference between those two, and it really is only showing us the difference between having ball bearings in the transmission and not having ball bearings in the transmission. Technically, my motor even is a little harder to roll. Um, it, it does have a higher Deaton force. It's harder to turn the shaft over by hand. So the results were opposite of what I expected. And it took me a while to figure out, oh, it's the ball bearings that are kind of skewing these results. So yeah, there we have it. Um, I'm just going to plug these in and we will see the difference with the drag brake on too. There we go. That's turned on. That's turned on. Oop, got to plug it in. There we go. And I need to change this one to mode number three to make sure that we have the same amount of drag brake for both vehicles. One, two, three. There we go. And, and then uh, we don't have enough stickers. We'll just do, we'll just do it bodyless this time. There we are. And since we do, oh, I'll double check. Make sure our drag brake is working in both directions because in mode two, it only works in the direction that you pressed oppositely. So if you want drag brake while you're rolling forwards downhill, you need to bump backwards to get the drag brake to work, which was weird. But in mode three, it's not so bad. It seems to drag brake in both directions. Yep, there we go. All right, so I've got drag brake on. They're both set at the same point and I will just tap them with my finger okay <laughs> the stock one isn't even rolling like i can't get it to roll come on and mine stopped too with 100 percent drag brake so that difference in rolling resistance huge difference not only in efficiency of your rig you're going to get less runtime with bushings and you know th that's a known that's nothing new in the market but as you can see, you also get better drag brake, which is, you know, that's great and all, but if the drag brake is at the expense of your runtime and your efficiency, it's also gonna be eating up an identical amount of torque on your output. All right, um, I'm gonna put a sticker on this rig so we can tell them apart on the camera. Well, why don't I just put two stickers on it? Three stickers. We'll put one on the hood. There we go, our aftermarket rig has aftermarket stickers 
Oh, 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 wait, oh, yep. Let's see if I can, oh, it's off center. That's gonna bug me forever. Let's see if I can remove this real quick. There we go. Ha ha, centered. All right, once again, I added a little bit more weight by putting the body back on. The stock one is closer to you. And we'll try again. We'll see. Boop. Yeah, uh, in, in mode number three, the rolling resistance of the transmission is so high with the bushings. I mean, that's, that's really good drag brake either way. But in mode number three, it'll actually stop on a 45 degree incline, which that's really good for a stock system. But that is rolling resistance that's causing it. And as you can see, this one just keeps kind of chugging along once you get it going. But uh, let's, let's say that you stop this one on a hill. It's going to stop and hold with this motor. Let's, let's try on the other one. Uh, let's see if it'll free roll by itself. There might be a certain place in the transmission where there is more, <laughs> where there's more or less. Um, but we can also tell that we don't have active braking on this system. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be just one of those things. You got to have an aftermarket ESC to have active braking in most cases. It's not, you know, it's not a universal thing yet. But as soon as I give just a little bit of, of uh, woo, it just free rolls, which is what it was doing in mode two. So it's not a bad thing to have a little bit of free roll. But since mode two doesn't allow us to have drag brake in both directions without tapping in the opposite direction, I, I'm just not, I'm not even going to entertain it honestly, plus the double tap reverse in mode two, mode three is really the way to go. But as you can see, I mean, with, with the ball bearings, at least it'll start to move. So we could, we can go back up and let's see if I can get it to go without just, wee. there we go. You just give it like a little blip and it'll free roll for you. So there's more testing to be doing. I do have some ball bearing kits coming from Fast Eddie Bearings, and that's gonna allow us to put bearings throughout, have more equal footing for comparisons in the future. And yeah, we'll just go from there. Yeah, all right, yeah. And, and we can always get this guy to stop by holding the throttle to a certain point and then letting go and it'll, it'll stop here. But we give it just a little bit of throttle. This is with the aftermarket motor, and it's just gonna free roll just like the other one does. So. I'm going to be putting a BR, um, BR mini, we call it BR XL without a case. I'm going to put a BR mini in here and we'll just continue with testing. But I hope this at least gives you some indication of how much better it is to have ball bearings versus bushings in a rig. Cause yeah, this thing's not even rolling and there's, there's really no reason for that besides the bushings. Yeah, there we go. All right, I, th I think that illustrates it enough. I'm gonna call it good there. If you do have any more questions about it, uh, we will have a video specifically for programming to get your, your rig into mode three. You saw me do it, it's really easy. You hold down the button until it flashes red three times. Uh, you know, little, little heads up for you there. But if you got any questions about it, just leave them down below, do my best to get to them. And uh, we will continue testing and tweaking with these rigs. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.